it's your lovely girl again and welcome back to another episode of my channel. For today's take two. another episode of my channel. For today's vlog, I will be talking about my first immigration experience and what are the frequently asked questions during the interview. Before I start this whole vlog guys, I just want to say that I salute all of those immigration officials because their job is not easy at all. They look intimidating, serious, strict, but I perfectly understand why do they have to be like that. I honestly appreciate their job guys because they just really want to make sure na tayo ay magiging safe na lalabas ng bansa na wala tayong gagawing masama. So, all of those immigration officials, thank you so much. Kahit pinapakabahan niyo ako ng bonggam-bongga, but okay lang. So, ayun na nga guys, I still remember my first ever international travel that was in Hong Kong. And lagay ko mga pictures dito para makita niyo. Anyways, um, that was way back July 12, 2018. Yes, dry. Mas naaalala ko pa talaga yung date kasi first time kong lumabas ng bansa nun. Yung passport ko guys, sobrang bago pa. Wala pa, pa, wala pa kahit isang tatak. Wala pa talagang dumi yung passport ko nun. Like very fresh, very new. But I think yung flight namin that time guys was 8.30 or 8.45 p.m. Just a reminder for international travel, we need to be at the airport 3 to 4 hours prior to our flight departure. Nandun na kami sa airport around 6.20 or 6.30. Nakapag-inuman pa talaga kami guys before we went to the airport. We finished like 2 buckets. I'll put um, pictures right here para makita nyo. So it was me and my boyfriend then yung friend niya. And I didn't drink that much as well. Like I finished 2 bottles lang ata. 2 or 3. Ganun lang. So I'm not drunk at all or something. Hindi rin ako yung lutaw na lutaw. So yun, dumating na kami sa airport guys and then nag-check in na kami. Nagbayad na din ako ng um, travel tax ko. Proceed for immigration na. I remember he told me na don't worry, be confident. I will be with you during the interview so you don't have to worry about. That's what I expected as well. I really thought guys that we will be doing the interview together. It didn't happen that way. Pumunta kami ng ano siya kasi yung parang may cubicle cubicle sila. So pumunta kami dalawa sa isang cubicle. Immigration officer asked us if are we married? So we answered no. I really thought na pwede kami mag interview nang sabay pero hindi so nasa kabilang cubicle na siya tapos ako sa kabilang cubicle naman <sighs> yung kaba ko guys I wasn't prepared at all nung first travel ko kasi guys I was a fresh grad wala akong work so I have no COE payslip with those requirements that I've mentioned to my previous vlog wala ako nun I only got my passport flight back home ko at saka yung hotel booking ko na yung boyfriend ko yung nag-print out. So yun lang yung meron ako guys. I wasn't prepared. Walang akong bank certificate or anything. So walang wala talaga ako. I still really remember guys the first question he asked to me was like asa mga mo adto? Where are you going? I answered I will be going to Hong Kong. Just a reminder again you need to know some information na isasubmit mo sa immigration official. You have to know where are you gonna stay? How many days you will be staying in? When will be your flight coming back to the Philippines? So ayun na nga, I answered him na I will be going to Hong Kong. And he did a follow-up question. Sinong kasama mo? Sabi ko, I am um, traveling with my boyfriend. And he asked me again, anong gagawin niyo sa Hong Kong? But like, just for a leisure, magta-travel lang kami. We will be visiting some um, tourist destinations like Disneyland, Ocean Park. Again, it's very important that you have your itinerary with you. Yung mistake ko kasi wala akong itinerary. I was not prepared at all. Next question niya sa akin, ilang days ka magsistay sa Hong Kong? He also asked saan kami magsistay, which hotel we will be staying in. So, yun 
yung pinakita ko sa kanya yung printed na um, booking confirmation na bigay sa akin ng boyfriend ko. Yun yung binigay ko sa kanya. So, at least he knew na alam ko kung saan ako magsistay talaga. And after that, he asked me, is this your first time traveling outside the Philippines? Like, it's very obvious kasi nasa kanya yung passport ko. Tapos, pinaganyan-ganyan niya yung every page ng passport ko. Like, makikita mo talaga na it's very new. Wala pang tatak or any stamp at all. So, obvious talaga guys na it was my first time traveling outside the Philippines. Hindi ko alam ba't niya tinatanong sa akin yun na obvious naman talaga kasi wala pang stamp. So, he was so serious. And yung kaba ko guys, like, abot lang. Ito talaga. Abot na lang yun. And then he was like, okay. He was just too focused and serious. I really thought it was done, pero hindi pa pala. I was just too confident the way I answer guys. Confident, confident na talaga ako. Yung immigration officer guys, hindi talaga nag-smile. Kahit ganun na hindi talaga. Ang book na lang yun. He even asked me as well if do I have a job. So sabi ko sa kanya na, no, I'm still a fresh grad. So, hindi pa ako nakapag-apply. Maka-apply ako after ng vacation na to. And then, he told me, please follow me. Then, I just keep looking at my boyfriend kasi nakaupo na lang siya. He just waiting for me. So, I followed him. And then, pumunta kami sa long table na merong mga officials doon. I think, yun yung mga seniors nila. Dalawa yun nag-interrogate sa akin during my second interview. Nag-ask yung immigration official sa akin. Same ng questions na ina-ask nung first immigration official. Question nila, paulit-ulit, paulit-ulit yung talaga. Parang they are trying to find out if nagsisinungaling ako or hindi. Ask again, sino yung kasama ko mag-travel? So sabi ko, yung boyfriend ko yung kasama. And they always do follow up questions guys. Like, tagasan yung boyfriend ko, yung birth date niya. How many times nakabisit siya sa akin dito sa Cebu? saan na kami nakapag-travel, saan kami nagkakilala, anong site. So, the immigration officer guys asked me kung meron pa ba kami pictures during the first time he visited me dito sa Cebu. Tapos sabi ko sa kanila, wala na ako picture kasi nga yung phone ko nun na naguba. Ano ba yung Tagalog sa naguba? Basta yun na yun. Sabi na immigration officer na, okay, uh, pwede kang pumunta muna dun sa boyfriend mo, sa boyfriend mo, and then call him at uh, papuntahin mo dito. Siya naman yung interviewin. Interview na sila, tapos ako, I just keep looking at them kung ano yung nangyari. And then, after 5 to 6 minutes, um, my boyfriend called me and then sabi niya papuntahin na daw ako doon sa long na table. And then, binigay nila sa akin yung passport ko na may tatak na. My boyfriend told me that he signed something, may pinirmahan daw siya na whatever happened to me, siya yung magiging responsable sa lahat. After nung interrogation guys, it was such a relief talaga. I did na ako sa travel and I was looking forward na mangyari sa travel namin sa Hong Kong at Macau. Just a tip lang talaga, gather all the documents. Um, you can watch my previous vlog about what are the requirements for you to be able to pass the immigration. Gather them all and then be confident. Um, answer them direct to the point. Yung walang paikot-ikot kasi the more na marami kang answers, the more they will ask you a lot of questions. So be careful na lang doon. Be honest and then smile. Don't forget your smile guys. Kasi pag poker face ka, parang makikita nila kinakabahan ka. So that's all for today guys. I hope you learned something from me. I know it's kind of boring vlog. Kasi we cannot do um, travel for now. So just bear with me guys. Um, yung mga gagawin ko na mga videos will be sit down vlogs muna. Travel related vlogs na din para may matutunan kayo sa akin. So anyways, thank you so much guys for watching this vlog. I hope you like it and if you do, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel please if you haven't done yet. And don't forget to click the notification bell so you will get notified to my upcoming vlogs. That's all for today guys. Just a reminder once again Again, stay at home and keep safe always. Bye!